Hi guys, in this script demo, I'm going to be showing you a few scripts that will show you ways in which you can send mouse clicks infinitely to a coordinate on the screen. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Just before we start, I just wanted to point out that honestly speaking, I could not find any practical use case for sending an infinite loop of mouse click to a coordinate on the screen. Um, but what you can use this for is when you have to do a lot of mouse clicks. So say for example, you're playing this game called uh, Doge Miner. Doge Miner is a web browser based game where you have to continuously click on the Dogecoin or that shows up here using the dog that shows up there now every time you click on this dogecoin or the dog will dig the all once and you can see that the count of the dogecoins go up each time i click on this dogecoin or so the aim of the game is that you collect a lot of doge coins to buy upgrades from the shop here and eventually collect enough doge coins to basically go to the moon i think now to collect these doge coins is a tedious process because you need to manually click on this like this right so in this case you can use the script now i've got three scripts here the first script sends the mouse clicks as long as a key is pressed and the second script designates a coordinate on the screen to which you're going to send the mouse clicks to infinitely with a with an option to switch it off and the third one is exactly the same as the second one except that it uses control click now let me explain to you the first script the first script uses g key as the hotkey and it first runs the while loop and looks for the status of the G key and see, checks whether it's pressed or not. If it is pressed, then this will be considered true and the command within the curly braces will continuously run, which is to send a click, left mouse click to the current position of the mouse cursor. So let me go ahead and run this, go back to Dogecoin, place my mouse cursor on top of the Dogecoin or and press the G key and I can see that the doge coins are being mined right okay so the second script works by designating a position on the screen and it uses the control R button to do that it gets the current position of the mouse cursor shoves it into these two variables and also gets the ID of the selected window the script is going to identify when my, I run the hotkey and then the number pad zero is the number pad that uh, creates this variable and puts a value of one into uh, this variable called switch and it will go into a loop and this switch variable is important because this switch works as a switch to turn on and turn off the loop so initially when you run this number pad zero hotkey it will run a loop and this loop will uh, break out of it only if the value within the variable switch is set to zero so every time you run this hotkey this will not be met and you will continuously send the mouse click of the left mouse click um, to the coordinate that you have saved using the control R button hotkey with a speed of zero and the last hotkey we have is the number pad dot hotkey which sets the value within the switch variable to zero and therefore while this loop is running if you run the number pad dot hotkey it's going to satisfy this if statement it's, and it's going to break out of this loop so let me run this script and go back to dogecoin minor control r to set the coordinates which i'm going to send the mouse clicks to and press numpad zero to infinitely send the mouse clicks like that so it continuously mines the doge coins like that but notice how i can't really move the mouse cursor because the mouse click command will um, always move my mouse cursor to the position of the coordinates that the mouse click is being sent to so i can use the numpad dot key um, to 
temporarily put this infinite loop on pause. Now, so that's it for the second script. Now the third script uses the control click command. And other than that, it's almost identical to the second script, but there are commands such as this detect hidden windows switched on in order to demonstrate demonstrate to you that the control click command will successfully send the clicks to the target window even when the target window is hidden. So I've got number pad 1 and 2 to show you that. I'm going to run this script but before I do that let me just remove this tooltip and run it and go back to Dogecoin Miner and then designate the coordinate and press numpad 0 which will make it start mining. Now you can see that my mouse cursor is freed up and I can go around and collect all these loots like that. Now notice though the mouse left click even though I can collect these loots some of the buttons won't work because my left button is continuously being pressed by the control click so if I try to minimize this window or try to drag this window out it doesn't work and buying the items within the shop as well it does get it does get a bit odd so because my left click is continuously being sent so it, it, my item is being placed here but it's not like I'm able to drag and drop I would as I would normally be able to do so let me pause this script here and this time I'm going to I'm going to run the loop and also hide the window now notice how right now okay maybe I should get rid of these okay I'm just gonna reset my game right so I don't get all these mini minion dogs to continue mining so my dogecoin number goes up now what I wanted to demonstrate to you is I'm just going to designate the area and then press numpad 0 to see it working. Okay, so now I have stopped at 41 and I'm going to hide this window by pressing numpad 1. Right? The window's hidden. It's in the it's somewhere in my uh somewhere hidden. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and press number pad 0 which should rerun the loop so I can hear the sound of mining going on behind the scenes and the number should have gone up if I press number pad 2 to bring up the window now the dogecoin count has been going up and now it's over over 200 from 41 before so this proves that the control click does send to the target window even when the target window is hidden all right that is it for this script demo thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video